Welcome back viewers. Today we'll be looking at how to calculate the area of a circle. We will be considering the area of a circle looking at two things. The first thing is we'll be looking at having a diameter and then secondly if we are given the radius. The area considering the radius is equal to pi r squared. And then the area considering the diameter is pi d squared over 4. What are the general expectations at the end of this video? The first expectation is to be able to find the area of a circle given the radius and this radius is denoted by R. Secondly, we should be able to find the area of a circle once the diameter is given and this diameter is represented by the letter D. Now, as a foundation to calculating the area of a circle, it is good for us to have a little background knowledge of what a circle is as a refresher. A circle is a two-dimensional closed and curved shape. And it is also worthy to note that all the points on the circumference, that is on the boundary of the circle, are at equal distance from the center of the circle. And that's clearly represented by the radius. The distance from the center to the circumference, that is the boundary, is the radius and it is at an equal distance from that circumference to the center. Like we all know, and we are here also being reminded, it does not have edges, corners, but rather curves. A circle does not have edges, corners, but curves. We are reminded here that the angle in a circle is 360 degrees and that makes a complete rotation. We'll be looking at this circle and we have the center of the circle as clearly indicated by this black dot. We earlier mentioned that all points from the circumference are at equal distance from the center of the circle and that can be depicted as we are showing and that distance from the circumference to the center or from the center to the circumference is equivalent to the radius. So at any point in time, as we mentioned earlier, all points on the circumference are at equal distance from the center of the circle. Remember that when we are finding the area of this circle, what we are simply doing is to find out the portion that this yellow shaded area is occupying. And in the case of circumference, what we are simply doing is finding the distance covered by the boundary. Simply the boundary in the case of circumference, circumference simply is the distance round this circular object or rather the distance round this circle. But in the case of the area, 
which we are currently considering in this video. We are concerned with this shaded yellow portion. Similarly, on the right hand side, our area is concerned about the shaded green portion. We look at the center. We look at the distance from the center to a point on the circumference, which is the radius, denoted by the letter R. We also look at the same line in the opposite direction, passing through the center, having a distance R, which is also the radius. Now, looking at this from the left hand side to the right hand side, the distance is 2R, that is 2 radii. One radius on the left hand side, another radius on the right hand side, making it 2 radii. R A D I I is the plural form of the word radius and two radii is equal to one diameter now if we have two r is equal to d that is two radii is equal to diameter then the radii or the radius is equals to the diameter divided by 2 where r is the radius and d is the diameter now once again we are looking at this particular circle and the other circle where we have established that 2 radii is equal to one diameter that is 2r is equals to 1d and therefore an r is half of the diameter so we can see this line at the bottom and it's called the chord of a circle c h o r d and what is the chord? The chord of a circle is a straight line that connects two points on the circumference of a circle. I'll come again. The chord connects two points. It is a straight line that connects two points. Let's say point A then let's say point B. This straight red line is a chord and it connects two points on the circumference. In this case, connects point A and B in this circle. Now, the longest chord in a circle is the diameter. The longest chord in a circle is the diameter as we can clearly see the diameter goes from the center all the way to this point so we have another chord there until we get to the diameter We have established that 2R is equal to, to D, that is 2 radius or 2 radii is equal to 1 diameter. Therefore, R is equal to D over 2, that is R is half of the diameter. Remember, we said R is radius, D is diameter. Now, we'll go straight to finding the area of a circle given the radius 
area of a circle given the radius, the formula is A is equals to pi r squared. Pi r squared. And that is also A is equals to pi times r times r because r squared means r times r. Remember we said A is the area of the circle. Pi is a constant, 22 over 7, and is given by 3.14. And radius, r, is definitely the radius of the circle. So this is the formula for finding the, radi the, the area of a circle given the radius. This is the formula for finding the area of a circle given the radius, pi r squared. Now, if we're given the diameter of the circle, we can equally find the area of that circle. Now that we know the relationship between the diameter and the radius. We know the relationship between the diameter and the radius. We know that the radius is the diameter divided by 2. And since we know the equation of a circle, which is in terms of the radius, which is area is equal to pi r squared, we can simply substitute our r, which is the radius, and then write it in terms of the diameter. So we can see there that a is equals to pi r squared. And because we know what r is in terms of d, r is equals to d over 2, we can simply substitute it into this equation. And then we have a is equals to pi. And then we open the bracket d over 2 and then everything squared that is the d over 2 is being squared and then when we look below we say area is equals to pi and then we have d times d over 2 times 2 and then when we simplify it we have area is pi d squared over 4 so area is equals to pi d squared over 4 as we can see above is the formula for finding the area of a circle in terms of the diameter. Remember that A is the area of the circle, R is the radius, D is the diameter of the circle, and pi is a constant which is 22 over 7 or can be used as 3.14. Now let's look at this example. A circle has a radius of 7 centimeters. Find the area of the circle. We can clearly see below that the radius is 7 centimeters, that is the distance from the center to a point or to any point on the boundary of the circle is seven centimeters. We know the formula for finding the area. Area is pi r squared. And we know what our r is. And we know what our pi is. So what we do is to simply substitute and calculate what the area is. And when we simplify this, what we have, because 7 will cancel the other 7 there, and then we now have 22 times 7, which is 154 centimeters squared. It is worthy to note here that the area of a circle, or even the area of any shape or figure, carries the square unit the square unit that is being considered. In this case, it is centimeters. Therefore, our answer is going to be in centimeters squared. So the area of this circle is 154 centimeters squared.
In this second example, we will be looking at finding the area of a circle, but this time around, giving the diameter. The diameter in this case is 5 centimeters. Therefore, we can simply calculate what the radius is by dividing the diameter by 2. And this gives us 5 divided by 2. Therefore, the radius of this circle is 2.5 centimeters. We remember that we had established earlier that 2 radii is equal to the diameter. Therefore, the diameter is twice the radius. And therefore, to calculate the radius, it will be simply by dividing the diameter by 2. And in this case, our radius will be 5 divided by 2, which is 2.5 centimeters. Therefore, we can simply substitute into the area formula, which says area is pi r squared. So pi being 22 over 7 times r squared, which is 2.5 centimeters times 2.5 centimeters. And when we simplify this, it gives us 19.6 centimeters squared. So we'll be solving this example two once again, but this time around, we'll be using the diameter formula, that is the area of the circle, but using the diameter expression. So with our diameter is D is equals to five centimeters. And the formula for the area is pi d squared over 4. Pi d squared over 4. Therefore, we will substitute into the equation. We know what our pi is. This time around, we'll be using 3.14. And our diameter squared, which is 5 centimeters times 5 centimeters. And then we'll be dividing it by 4. And this gives us 19.6 centimeters squared, just as we had in the previous one. Thank you. Kindly subscribe to this channel and click the link above so as to watch a similar video on area of triangles. Thank you.